All right, I'm going to do problem uh, 477 on page 157. It says for the reaction, uh, nitrogen reacts with hydrogen to form ammonia. And these are all in the gas phase. All right, part A says balance the equation. So right off the bat we know we're going to have to put a, two, a, a coefficient of 2 in front of the ammonia to give us two nitrogens on both sides and then 2 times 3 on the product side gives us 6 hydrogens so we're going to have to put a coefficient of 3 in front of the hydrogen to balance the hydrogen on both sides alright uh, part B says how many moles of hydrogen would react with one mole of nitrogen so if we have one mole of nitrogen The mathematical way to do this, you can easily see that it's going to be three moles of hydrogen uh, would be required. But what they're trying to teach you here on part B is to make sure you know where the mole to mole ratio comes from. This is the second part of any stoichiometry problem where we convert from uh, here's step one, step two, and step three. We're looking at step two, which is convert from moles of what you have A to moles of what you're trying to find B. And so um, you would have one mole of nitrogen from our balanced chemical equation uh, requires three moles of hydrogen. And so the answer for this would be three moles of diatomic hydrogen. All right. Part C gets a little trickier. Uh, it says if you have 14 grams of nitrogen were initially present, calculate the number of moles of hydrogen required to react with all of the nitrogen. Well, uh, we, we write down what's given. We've got 14.0 grams of diatomic nitrogen. And we want to know how many moles of hydrogen would be required. So you need to come up with your plan of action. Let's, let's look at our plan of action. We're going to convert grams of nitrogen to moles of nitrogen and then once we know the moles of nitrogen we do just like we did in part B we can convert that to moles of hydrogen. Alright so in order to convert grams to moles here's the big one here in order to convert grams to moles what do we need to know? Well we need to know the molar mass of nitrogen. Now this is N2 not N, N2. So one mole of N2 weighs according to the periodic table 28.0 grams. And how did I get that? Well it's 14.0 grams per mole but we got N2 here so that makes it 28. So here we're going to say 28.0 grams of diatomic nitrogen is one mole of nitrogen and then to go from moles of nitrogen to moles of hydrogen we need to know the mole to mole ratio which we did that in part B uh, for every three moles of hydrogen consumed one mole of nitrogen is consumed alright so watch your units before you uh, calculate your answer. The grams of nitrogen cancel out. The moles of nitrogen cancel out. We're left with moles of hydrogen. That proves to me that we've set this up right. All right. So then get your calculator. 14 divided by 28 is 0.5, right? 0.5 times 3 is 1.5. 1 1.5 moles of hydrogen is the answer. All right. Part E for conditions outlined in Part D, how many grams a product would be formed. So in, in Part C, what we did, we did step number one. We converted grams of A to moles of A. All right. Then we did Part 2, or step two, which is convert moles of A to moles of B. We converted from moles of nitrogen to moles of hydrogen. The last step is, if it's required, is to convert from moles of B to grams of B. All right. So we know how many moles of hydrogen would be formed. In order to convert that to grams, we have to find out what the molar mass of hydrogen is. So uh, one mole of hydrogen weighs 2.02 .02 grams. If you look on the periodic table, 
each individual hydrogen is 1.01 grams, but this is diatomic again, so you have to multiply that by 2.02. .02. So 1.5 times 2.02, .02, it's going to be about 3, right? Yeah, the two significant figures, it's 3.0. How many significant figures should we have? Let's trace this back and look. Um, yeah, we should have 3. So 3.03. .03. So my answer up here would have been to 3. It's probably 1.5. I was close enough. And then 3.03 .03 grams down here of hydrogen would be formed. So this is part C. Uh, take this and this, that gives us that, and that was, or that's part, actually that's part E, part E there. Did I skip a part? Yes, I did. <laughs> this is part D. <laughs> All right. Part C is, uh, let's see. Yeah, part C, how many moles of product would be formed if I had one mole of nitrogen? Yeah, let's do that. One mole of nitrogen. Again, all we're looking at is the mole-to-mole -mole ratio. For every one mole of nitrogen, we get two moles of ammonia. So my answer here would be two moles of ammonia. All right, there we go. And this is part E here, yeah. Hope that helps. Again, I'll be glad to help you anytime. If you'll just uh, put on the discussion board what problem you want to see, I'll create a lesson for it and hopefully this helps you understand uh, stoichiometry very important subject like I said it's probably the one, one of the most it's one of the most important concepts in chemistry